Welcome back to the next appraisal tool modules. This module addresses question one. Is the problem clearly described? Scientific articles typically begin by the researcher describing the problem that the study intends to address. Often the problem is based on a clinical concern, an etiology of a health issue, need for a prevention or a treatment, issue about quality, whether it be processes or outcomes, or efficiency of an organization. There are key components of a research problem. Significance refers to the importance of the study to address the problem. The author is expected to develop a justification for why the study is needed. Why is this a problem that needs to be addressed? What general contribution to, will this study make on the well-being of people, systems, organizations, or others who might be impacted? Well-developed problem statements can also answer who does the issue affect? How many individuals are affected? How long has this been going on? How expensive is the issue? Is a disproportionate amount of funding spent on this issue? What's the current controversy or debate about the issue? To describe the event or the problem, authors may use startling statistics to emphasize the importance. For example, an author might state, one in three pregnant women gain excessive weight during pregnancy, increasing the risk of maternal and infant adverse outcomes. Or, premature birth cost $26.2 billion annually in the United States. Both of those statements help you understand the size of the problem. The author should briefly summarize what is known and what is not known about the topic of interest, and then clearly articulates the gap, what information is still needed. The population of interest should also be described, and sometimes the specific setting will be included. In contrast to a well-constructed problem, poorly developed problems make it difficult for the reader to follow the author's logic and to recognize the problem. Here are some example phrases that might be used in the sentence that helps the reader identify the gap. For example, there's a dearth of evidence about, little is known about, few studies have explored, findings from previous studies conflict, or evidence is inconclusive, or the intervention has not been tested, and then they'll tell you their population of interest. Let's look at an excerpt from a study to answer our appraisal question. The objective of this study was to evaluate perceived social support in ischemic heart disease patients who report hopelessness. You may wish to pause the presentation to take a moment to read the text. When formulating an appraisal response to this study, the answer is yes. The problem is clearly described. The researcher reports the extent of the problem of hopelessness among this particular patient population. They also clearly describe the importance of the research to inform nursing practice. Congratulations, you successfully completed this module. You may return to the main menu or continue to other appraisal modules in the next EBP course.